foggy old starts in the morning. But here we are, it's Friday. Week over and done with. Didn't come quick enough for me though. Never comes quick enough. Weekend sure will go by quick enough. Anyway. Let's start with some positives though. Oh, that's doing so well. Just dropped my headphones on the floor. No, let's start with the positives. So the positives are the week is over and done with. I'm still living and breathing. I'm sure as hell not fighting in a war zone. And what more can I say? That's just terrible, isn't it? If they're the only two sort of positives that I can think of. Uh, yeah, man, we still have life ahead of us. That's quite a positive as well. So, right, guys, girls, let's get this day underway. There might even be a little delivery when we get home. Who knows? Who blooming knows? Let's hope the coffee guy's at work, man. Right, let's get this day rolling. Guys, girls, as always, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate the hell out of it. I hope you're well. I hope you're pushing forwards, and I hope you're looking forward to a great weekend ahead. Roll that intro. We're going to go outside and we're going to come back in. Hopefully Chris will turn up and we'll go outside again. Then we'll come back in. Then it'll be the end of the day and we'll go back outside again. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Coffee guys. You'd be proud of me. You'd be proud of me. You would. Umpteen circumstances today have arisen where I've just been quiet. Didn't say nothing. Are you filming him just to make sure Nah, I'd never film Chris. The sunlight is hurting my eyes. What a beautiful afternoon. Oh man. I'd like to just get in the car and just go out of it, but still got like four litres of coffee to drink for you. And never mind, sun's shining. It's kind of pleasant, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, the weekend starts now. Cat was boiling, nearly boiled, but we got a delivery. Epic one at that, actually. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna rip it out of its box, see if it's uh, gonna do the job. And in which case, then this weekend, we'll have a little bit of a little bit of fun. That's the plan, anyway. I should have got on it this afternoon. Instead, I couldn't. I just couldn't pull myself away from watching multiple episodes of a 1980s TV show called Tour of Duty. 
if you know about it, if you watched it the first time around and you thought it was epic, leave an epic in the comments below. Tour of Duty, what a TV show. And yeah, I'm watching it on some website. I'm 10 episodes in the first season. Epic TV show. drive through you take a little cheeky drive through i don't think anybody is going to question it Ooh. let's go to sports direct so the mission is wixie's incinerator because andrea just wants to set fire to the garden basically good times i had other ways that we could have done it but andrea didn't agree with us so yeah incinerator it is what? I said I had a different way that we could have incinerated the garden, but you wouldn't let me. <laughs> and no, it didn't involve clay moss. Stop saying that word. I don't know what your problem is, man. Clay moss are the answer to everything. I don't think they are. Cats depositing waste in the back garden. Clay moss. People trying to cut you up in traffic queues. Clay moss. Home invasion. Clay moss. <laughs> Trust me. Clay moss are the answer to everything. If you agree, leave it in the comments below. Are clay moss the answer to everything? Oh, I thought we were going to go outside and everything, but not going outside. Incinerators, here we go. I hope that's part two today. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. How do you like it? You know how you like it. <laughs> no. <laughs> How do you genuinely slice it? Do you just throw like a bit of burning paper in it? Like, what? Yeah. So we didn't quite make it home. We uh, made it just across the way to Home Sense because Andrew was like, should we go in Home Sense? Which is not good because it's got me a little bit closer to Hobbycraft, which makes me think I should go and buy some more postcard paint pens, basically. How cool is that? They are quite cool. Floor cushion, how much are they? 25 quid. Don't worry, you're spending like 15 quid on a candle. But it's nice. It smells like lava. <laughs> you said it was nice. Yeah, it smells nice. I didn't realise lava smelled like that. Exactly, but I thought it was like Well, I would have thought so. Can you take this one for me, please? Do I like it though? You think it will look nice in the garden? Does it have a hole in the bottom? Yeah. No, it doesn't. Oh my god. So just fill up with water? Yeah, basically. And some oil. I could drill a hole in it or smash a hole in it. You might break it. But that's the risk that I'm willing to take. <laughs> but I'm not. Alright. You don't, you're buying the frames. No, Check me out, man. I came in here Cheers. and I haven't bought any paint pens because it's entirely you pick them. If you want it, get it. I'm just getting it. Oh my God. Yeah, but check me out, man. I came in at Hobbycraft. I looked at the Posca pens and I walked away from the Posca pens. <laughs> Big moves. So that is pretty cool. We're going to try that out tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. I done well. We come out of Hobbycraft. I didn't buy any paint pens or any art material whatsoever. I did, however, come home and spend money on Wish. So you actually spent more money than I did tonight, I think. Yeah, probably. But that's okay because you made it all fine and justified it for me. So we're all even. Everyone's a winner, baby, that's for sure. That's what they keep telling me. Anyway, on that note, guys and girls, I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. I hope you're staying focused, staying positive, because I have come to the conclusion it is the two hardest things to do in life. On that note, I see you at some point tomorrow on this beautiful little planet we call Earth. Have a good one. <laughs>